Hi, my name is Marion Landry and I'm the Technical Marketing Specialist for 3ds Max Design. This is another tips and tricks on how to adjust the settings of your mental ray daylight system. But this time around, we'll learn how to add a cloud image into the sky. To add realism and personality to your rendering, the mental ray physical sky has the ability to change color and affect the appearance of the sun disk with the haze parameter. This parameter is mappable, so it makes an excellent home for cloud maps. Let's do it together. First, open the Environment and Effects window. Next to it, open the Material Editor. Drag the Environment Map, Physical Sky Shader, from the Environment window into an empty slot of the Material Editor. The reason why we're doing this is to have access to the Physical Sky Shader parameters. The Mental Ray Physical Sky Environment Shader is responsible for the visible representation of the sun disk and sky. Since we want to change the look of the shader itself by adding a cloud image, we will need to have access to the shader parameters. Go down to the Mental Ray Physical Sky parameters and uncheck the Inherit from Mental Ray Sky option to have access to the parameters. When this option is checked, the sky parameters are driven from the daylight system settings. You can view these settings in the control panel when your daylight system is selected. Back to the physical sky shader. Now that I have access to the physical sky shader parameters, we will add an image in the haze. Click on the None button next to the haze setting and add a bib map that will point to a sky image. The image could be a JPEG, a TGA, a TIFF, or any other format available. Don't forget to use the proper projection, either screen or spherical, for example. In the sky image parameters, go down to the output tab and increase the output value in between 1 to 8, depending on your image, to see the effect. This will drive the haze value of the sky based on the image. Make sure that the physical sky you just adjusted and changed the parameters is actually in use in your scene. You might have to drag it back to the environment and effect window in the environment map tab. The white triangle in the corner of the material slot will indicate that the physical sky is in use. Render to see the results. The clouds image is now visible in the sky. Since the image has been added to the haze parameter, the color base will get adjusting according to the time of the day. So you will have a different result if you render this image early in the day or late at night. You'll also be able to see the sun disk through the clouds. This is a small tip that will help you add realism to your scene. 